For this video, we're going to take our first look at working with MQTT data on Node-RED. So for this example, I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, so the 64-bit version. I've already installed Node-RED. So as you can see on the screen, Node-RED comes with some standard nodes. I can see here MQTT, so this is in and this is out. When I click on this, it's asking for me to add a broker. So I can, I can do that, but I haven't got any MQTT software installed on my Raspberry Pi. First thing I need to do is, is figure out how to install that. A good program that's um, open source is something called Mosquito. So I'm going to take you through how to install that. The process for installing Mosquito is relatively easy. You need to open your putty window. The first thing you should do before installing any new software is make sure that you're up to date with your, your current um, environment. So we'll run the sudo app update command. So I can see here that all my packages are up to date, but if they weren't, then I would run the upgrade command, as you can see here. So I'm not going, I'm not going, to, not going to do that command now. So I'll clear the screen. And as I said, installing Mosquito is relatively easy. So we'll start off with sudo, and then apt get, and then install mosquito to check your version type in mosquito again and then minus v as you can see when we uh, run that command we've got an error here and i'm not too fussed about ipv6 V4. I just want to clear this error, and to do that, we need to, to edit mosquito config file. So, the first thing we need to do is change our directory. If we do cd forward slash etc forward slash mosquito and then ls, that will show us all the files. So, we can see here the mosquito config file, and we'll use the um, nano editor that you get with Raspberry Pi to edit that here sudo nano mosquito conf on f open that and I've already hashed this out but there's the command clear that hash so it now instates this command listener 1883 the MQTT port so we'll add that into the text control X to exit yes to save and then enter to make that change work we've got to do a reboot so sudo I've rebooted my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to type in the mosquito hyphen V command. And we can see now from my IPv4 port that the error has disappeared and my mosquito is now running and I can see the version. So to make this more secure, I would recommend adding a user and a password to your standard profile. And there's a certain set of commands to, to do that. But the first thing you have to do is be in the mosquito directory to run those. So from this directory, type in this command sudo mosquito underscore pass wd hyphen c. We're going to create a password file called raspi. And it's going to ask me for, for a password. So that's my password set up um, for the first time. I do need to do a little bit more editing to enable the password. But before I do that, there are a couple more commands. So if I want to set up another user and, and password, I can use the password B command and I can uh, define the password there. So the C creates the first user profile, um, hyphen B. I can create another profile and a password and then the hyphen capital D command I can use to delete a profile including the password. So I've set my password up. What I need to do now is use a text editor from the terminal to edit my config file to tell it 
to use that password. So on your Raspberry Pi, you should have a text editor called nano. So if I use this command, sudo nano mosquito.conf, I can see here this is my config file. And there's a couple of lines of text that I need to put into here. Turn off allowing anybody into the system. So it's going to force you to use a password and it's going to use the password file that we've just configured by using the passwd-c command. So we've added that to the file. So we have to do control X to exit. Yes, we want to save. The password configuration is all set up. For it to work, we need to do a reboot. Before we do that, we need to set up our system control to enable the auto start of Mosquito. So to enable that function, you need to um, set the system control enable for Mosquito service. So that's all set up. We'll perform a sudo reboot and then we're ready to go and test Node-RED. So I've opened up my instance of Node-RED. I'm on a Windows PC that's connected to the same network as my Raspberry Pi. You type in the address of the Raspberry Pi followed by 1880 and that opens up Node-RED for you. So this is an empty flow. So now we're going to focus on, on these two nodes here, so which are under the network se session. Um, so let's drag in the MQTT in. What you have to do with this node is connect it to a broker. So it configures a broker on Mosquito and that will be the connection in the background. So when you click on it, the most important thing to do to start off with is set this server up. They, they call it a server. In my mind, that's the broker sat in the background. Because both the in and the out use the same server. So let's click on the pencil. And then here we have the server. Because Mosquito is installed on the same instance or the same Raspberry Pi, as node red, I'll put in local host, and then I'm using this port here, 1883, which is the standard MQTT port that doesn't use TLS encryption. So I've said that. I'm using this, this version here of MQTT, because it's the one I'm familiar with. There is version five. I will try that in another video. Uh, the client ID, we can leave blank for now, and tick use clean sessions and uh, keep alive or set to 60 seconds. The important thing then is the security. If you can remember back during this video, we set the security. So this is what we need to put in. So um, I, my username, password, again, I'm not telling you what that is. That's what we've set on Mosquito. And then you can set all sorts of messages up. And the important thing with MQTT is the topic. So the topic needs to be consistent. So you can have multiple devices set to the same topic. Think of it as like we're all speaking in English um, with, and that's that's our topic test. If I wanted to speak in Spanish, I'd put test Spanish and everything could talk in, in that group. It's a little bit more technical than that, but that's, that's the easiest way to think about it. So I've set a topic as test. So when I connect, I get uh, a message saying connected to broker, and if it fails, it will send out a message on that topic that says failed to connect. These quality of services, I always leave these at two, uh, and the retention in this instance will, will lead to false. So we can update that. Then we come back to this section here. Uh, again, we want to keep the topic consistent on this flow, so we'll call it test. And then we can click done. And what we can then do is use the debug node. We'll look at the complete message on the output of this. Now what it should do when I compile this, if it all works, I should get a connected green light underneath this node. So let's uh, deploy this now and see what happens. So there we have it. I'm connected to my um, broker and this is an input so we'll set an output 
again we can come down to the networks we'll use an MPT out we'll set this up it's so using the same server we'll give it the same topic and we'll have quality of services too and this time I'm going to set the retain to true click done and we just need to give it a message and we inject let's inject the timestamp with this one control C control V and then with this one I'm going to put a string in here. We'll call that hello boss. We'll connect that in. We'll do a deploy. Now the same should happen with this. It should connect to the broker. It should, it should say connected. And there we go. If I clear this now, it's a bit of a weird test, but I, I am going through Mosquito. You're just seeing it all on one page, and I'll prove that in a minute with another connection. So I inject the timestamp here on my debug, the timestamps come back, and then if I inject hello boss, I, I expand this. Sorry, basic mistake. I put it in the topic, not in the payload, so I'll deploy that again. Clear. And now if I click on hello boss, there's the, there's the payload. To prove that my connection is working from PC to PC or device to device, I'm going to use a free bit of software called MQTT Explorer. And when you open this up, you've got to set a connection. So in this case, MQTT, and then that's the address of my Raspberry Pi, and there's the MQTT port, which we should be familiar with. And then we have our username and password again. Connect. Notice last time I did have a little bit of a flaky connection here. I'm not too sure why it keeps dropping in and out, but it is working. I set the topic to test. That's important. And then down here, I can put a JSON string in outside. And what I should see via my um, Node Red debug screen, I should see that in here. So you can see now outside. If I go back to MQTT Explorer, type in another message. see that now clear there. So I set up my um, MQTT broker on Node Red. We're not doing anything too clever with this. But now I can use this to pull in data from other devices, for example an Arduino or maybe something like Aurora One network server and pull the data in to here and visualize it. But for now um, I hope that was useful. As per usual, thanks for listening and I hope to see you again soon.